Hello, I'm Bobby Cotchell from Dudley Performing Arts and this video is Drunken Sailor Part 1. Now before you play Drunken Sailor you need to make sure that you can use your first finger pressing down on the different strings. If you don't know how to do that then Carol Weeway has done a video in the Bowed Strings playlist and the video is called First Finger Warm Ups. So I suggest you have a look at that video first before you try and play Drunken Sailor. Now I'm just going to quickly show you what we're going to do with our first fingers in this tune. So if I get my violin up on my shoulder, I'm going to slide my hand down the neck of the violin as far as it will go, thumb on one side, fingers on the other, and making sure that my wrist is pointing down like that. And we're going to use the fingertip of our first finger on the D string. Now when you press down with your first finger, it sounds like that. And when you lift your first finger off, it makes a different sound, plays a different note. So uh, first of all, you need to make sure before we get properly started that you can make those two different sounds with your finger pressed down and with your finger lifted off. So pause the video and have a little practice of that first. Now we're going to have a look at reading Ds and D1s from the stave. You'll remember that a D looks like this with the stick going up and the blob or note head below the bottom line of the stave. When you put your first finger down to play a D1, the note moves up slightly and it now looks like this. So you can see now the note head, instead of being under the line, is now on the line. Now we're going to try and play the violin part to Drunken Sailor and we're going to do this one bar at a time. So if we take a closer look at the first bar, you can see it's got two different kinds of notes in it white notes and black notes. Remember the white notes are minims, so they last for two beats, and the black notes are crotchets. They're shorter, they just last for one beat. Also notice that the blobs are all underneath the line. That means every note in this first bar is a D. So the rhythm goes short, short, long. On an open D string on a violin, that sounds like this. So my last note at the end there was a little bit longer. Pause the video and have a little practice of that. And when you're ready, we'll move on to the next bar. So here's the second bar. Now the rhythm for this is exactly the same. It goes crotchet, crotchet, minim, which means the rhythm is still short, short, long. But the difference is the blobs are now on the line instead of underneath the line. That means that you have to play D1s, so you're going to press down with your first finger on the D string, and it should sound like this. So again, pause the video and have a little practice of just that bar with your first finger on the D string. Here's the third bar. Now as you can see, we're back on an open D, so we've got to lift our fingers off. And it's the same rhythm as before, short, short, long. So in other words, this bar is exactly the same as the first bar. So you can pause the video again and practice it if you want. But because it's the same as the first bar, you can move on if you want to the fourth bar, which looks like this. Now this bar's the trickiest one because it's got two different notes in it, D1s and Ds. If you look carefully, you'll see that the two crotchets, the short notes at the start, are both D1s. And then the minim, the long note at the end, is an open D. So that means for the short notes, your finger is pressed down. And for the long note, your finger's lifted off. So on the violin, it sounds like this. One, one, D. I'll just play that again one more time. Again, pause the video and have a practice of that bar. And when it's ready, we'll try and put all four bars together. So I'm now going to demonstrate how to do the four bars one after the other. While I'm doing this, I want you to look really carefully at my first finger as it presses down and lifts up off the D string. So we go. D, 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 one, 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 D, D. D. 
So now pause the video again for the last time and have a go at playing all four bars together. So you should be able to hear a drum beat in the background now. This is a four beat drum loop that's just repeating over and over again. And what we're gonna try and do is play those four bars of Drunken Sailor in time with the drum beat. So get your violin ready. I'm going to count you in and I'm going to play it with you at the same time. One, two, three, four. If you found that quite difficult to stay in time with the drum beat, then rewind the video about one minute and practice it a few more times. But if you think you're ready to try it a little bit faster, then we're going to try and play along with the proper backing track right now. So this is the music that you can hear in the background and it's slightly faster than the drum beat that we were just playing along to. So at this point in the music, this is where the singing happens. So we're not playing our violins yet, but when I want you to get ready to play your violin, I will count you in after four. So here we go. One, two, three, four. Have one more go, but I'm not going to play along this time. But I will count you in again after four, so get ready. One, two, three, four. If you manage to stay in time with the music, then that means you're ready to move on to part two where we will put the violin playing together with some singing. So thanks for watching. I'll see you in Drunken Sailor part two.